What's up YouTube, Saf here on Super Saf TV and here we have the world's lightest 15 inch laptop. It is the LG Gram 2018 edition. You guys might remember that last year I did a video on the LG Gram 13 inch 2017 edition and I overall really like that laptop. And this year I wanted to try something different. That's why I've gone for the 15 inch version. Let's go ahead and get it unboxed and see what it can do. So the box design is very similar to what we had last year. We've got the LG Gram on here, kind of balancing, floating, shall we say, uh, just to kind of emphasize how light this laptop is. And there we have it, that is the gram. Let's just look at what we've got inside this side panel here. So quite straightforward stuff. We've got some paperwork, we've got power lead and adapter, and we've also got an ethernet to USB type C converter. This is something that we also got last year. Quite nice to have that within the box. Right, now let's get this out of here. So we've got this G, which we're supposed to pull on. And wow, that is light. Let's get it outside of the plastic. and at the front as well. So here at the top we have a gram and it does feel premium. It is a metal alloy and that's a combination of nanocarbon and magnesium. And it is apparently military grade tested in terms of durability, although it does have some flex to it. Uh, this is something that a few people have talked about. Uh, I think this is to kind of keep the weight as minimal as possible. Now just to do a quick size comparison with laptops that have a similar size display. We've got the Dell XPS 15 here. And we've got the Microsoft Surface Book 2 on this side. So similar size to the Dell XPS 15, it is slightly smaller in terms of the length. And compared to the Microsoft Surface Book 2, uh, once again, it is smaller in the length, uh, but in terms of the width, this is slightly wider, and that is because it has a 16 by nine aspect ratio versus the Microsoft Surface Book 2, which has a three by two aspect ratio. However, however, that is the size, when we compare the weight, this thing is almost half the weight of these two here. Uh, you can really feel the heft, on both of these. Now, I know, I know this is because they have dedicated GPUs, but just to give you a, a bit of perspective. Now let's go ahead and open this. We're gonna do the one thumb test. Absolutely fine. Let's try that again, move this foam. Absolutely fine. Now, before we talk about all the features on the display, let's go ahead and power this up. Right, so we are now all set up, the usual Windows setup that I'm sure you guys have seen a hundred times. Now the battery was actually completely dead, so I have currently got it here on charge. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna test out the fingerprint ID scanner here at the front. So let's do this and we'll see how long it takes. Three, two, one. So that's been pressed and we'll see how long it takes to switch this on and also let us into Windows because of the fingerprint ID. There we are. Super quick and super easy. Now the display is 15.6 inches. It's an IPS LCD touchscreen display and it has a resolution of full HD. So that's 1920 by 1080. Pretty decent display and bezels are pretty small as well like we had on the previous generation of the LG Gram. One of the things that's been improved and I'm definitely happy about is the fact that we no longer have the webcam here at the bottom. We actually have it here at the top. And this makes a huge difference because having the webcam at the bottom just kind of looks like you're looking up your chin, which is definitely not a flattering angle. Also, the fingerprint scanner is now here at the top before it was part of the trackpad and it kind of did come in the way. Now, in terms of the specifications, I have gone for the top of the line. Now, this is available in a few different configurations depending on the size you go for. Mine has an eighth generation Intel Core i7 8550U processor, 16 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM, a total of one terabyte storage, and that is two M.2 512 gigabyte SSDs. And for graphics, you have the standard Intel UHD Graphics 620. Now with those kind of specs, you can't really expect heavy 4K video editing or gaming, but the great thing about the LG Gram is that you do have Thunderbolt 3. So what this is gonna allow you to do is potentially hook this up to an external GPU and get much better graphics performance. Now, as well as the Thunderbolt 3 USB Type-C ports on the left-hand side, you have a full-size HDMI, which is nice, 
a full size USB 3.0 port, the DC in, and on the right hand side you have a micro SD card slot. Personally, I would have preferred a full size SD card slot. I think it just made things a lot more practical, especially for somebody like me. Then there's a 3.5 meter headphone jack, two additional USB type A 3.0 ports, and a Kensington lock slot. Now we do have two 1.5 watt stereo speakers, uh, which are at the bottom. These don't sound too bad, and we have a 72 watt hour battery, which LG is saying should give you 16.5 hours of usage on the 15 inch LG Gram. Now, whether you're gonna get that full usage, I very much doubt. Obviously, it's gonna depend on your usage. But nevertheless, my experience with the LG Gram 2017 edition was very good in terms of battery life, and I expect this to have a great battery life too. Apart from that, we do have a backlit keyboard, and the keys actually feel pretty decent. And then we've also got this trackpad, which feels okay, but it is a little bit mushy for my liking. Now the flex that I was talking about earlier, you can see here that we do have some flex here on the screen as well as on the body as well. Now once again, this is to maintain that super lightweight design. And as also mentioned, this has been military grade tested for durability, so it shouldn't really be a problem. So there we have it guys, that is the LG Gram 15.6 inch 2018 edition. Uh, overall a pretty decent laptop. Now in terms of who is it for, well that's a bit of a tricky question. I mean if you're a student and somebody and you want something for things like word processing and stuff then you know the 13 inch version might be better for you because it is quite a bit cheaper. And if you're somebody who maybe likes to do some video editing and some light gaming as well then you know the other options such as the Dell XPS 15 and the Surface Book 2 with their dedicated GPUs may be a better option but this kind of sits in between that sort of space I think. So maybe if you're somebody who wants a large display laptop which doesn't weigh much at all and it's going to be easy to carry around wherever you are and maybe you have a dedicated GPU at home which you can plug in using Thunderbolt 3 if and when you need that performance. What do you guys think of the LG Gram? Definitely drop me a comment below. And if you wanna pick this up or just find out more information, there will also be some links in the description. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, then please do hit that thumbs up button for me. And if you haven't already, then be sure to subscribe and switch your notifications. We've got lots more content coming up on here. Thanks for watching, this is Saf on Super Saf TV. And I'll see you next time. What's up YouTube, Saf here on Super Saf TV. Peace.